Hello and welcome to Brookdale Newsmakers, your source of all the news, info, and events going on at Brookdale and in your community. I'm Kevin Esamanik, and joining us today is Jess Levine, a professor of history here at Brookdale Community College. Thank you for joining us today. Glad to be here, Kevin. So I hear you have this history lecture that you want people to know about. Can you tell me about it? Yeah, sure. Um, every year we have this lecture called the Jack Needle Annual Lecture in History. Jack was a professor here for a long time and brought outstanding lecturers and speakers here. And when he retired, we kind of constructed this lecture to remember him. And actually, he comes in and he gives introductions. So we try to bring outstanding people um, from the outside in to talk. And this year, it's happening on uh, Wednesday night, April 11th at mm -hmm. 7 o'clock free to the public, open mm -hmm. to the public, right here at Brookdale. And the uh, author that's coming this year is Tony Horwitz. He's a Pulitzer Prize winning author. Mm -hmm. He's written maybe five books. He wrote for the Wall Street Journal. Um, he, went, he wrote uh, for the New Yorker. Um, he was a correspondent overseas. And he's been writing these books for a long time. And, uh, and this, he wrote a famous book called Confederates in the Attic, which was enormously mm -hmm. popular, a bestseller. Every, I think everything he's written has been a bestseller. So tell me more about this book, Midnight Rising, we have here. Midnight Rising is the book that he just finished publishing. And it came out, and it's already acclaimed, a best-selling book already. And it's about John Brown. John Brown, in October 16th in 1859, led this raid on Harper's Ferry. Mm -hmm. Most people go to school, find about it in their history textbooks. It's right before the Civil War, and it's considered to be this outrageous thing. They get together with the 28 people, attack the munitions, uh, area at Harper's Ferry and, pl and plan to force the South to capitulate and stop being involved in slavery. And it's a, a very famous, entertaining story about who he, who he was and how gutsy he was, an abolitionist. Okay. Yeah. Um, what, do you, what do you hope people gain from this lecture? Hope that they actually gain more knowledge about the Civil War besides all the, the guns, <laughs> the boom booms, and the maneuvers by the generals, but the inside portions of how we get to the Civil War. And this book here is a lot about that, how that happens, a, a different sense of it, how people could involve themselves and risk their lives for the principles that the Civil War was fought over. All right. um, how would people um, get in contact about uh, coming to this lecture? They get in contact with the Student Life Association, um, with me at the numbers that are available mm -hmm. on the screen, and uh, even you know, with the college relations. It's a kind of a, a co uh, you know, coordinated operation. Uh, tell us more about the author. Um, so, so Tony likes to do, Tony Horwitz likes to do things where he, um, he, he could, brings the real life experience of this particular place to go to it. So for the other book, Confederates, he would go to the places where the battles are fought, talk to the people, involve themselves in it. For this particular book, Midnight Rising, mm -hmm. he went with a, a reunion of such, of people who have sort of traced the path of John Brown, went there. Mm -hmm. So he likes to show the correlation between everyday life and how we think about it and deal with it and remember it, and even the historical events. So he's kind of different. He's a, a journalist writing a kind of exciting, mm -hmm. you know, you can identify with it, you can appreciate, you could go there kind of version of it, not just like mm -hmm. some drawn out, boring history book, which is just like the story of, you know, mm -hmm. John Brown's raid. He's that kind of an author, which mm -hmm. he's made him for quite famous. Um, how did you get involved with these lectures? Um, uh, for, for Jack Needle? Yes. Um, well, I used to go to them, and I used to be part of them as part of the history department. And I was just so taken aback by how far he'd gotten, how many famous people he got to come bring here. I thought that that was one of the things that represented who he was as a professor here. And I needed to really continue that tradition. Like, he had put it so forth, I felt like it was kind of like our turn to keep it going. So we named this lecture after him mm -hmm. in honor of him. And we, it gave us a reason every year to get together to make sure we didn't drop the ball, so to speak. Yeah. And we've been hitting awesome home runs since then. A lot of help from Robert Quinones. He's had some great ideas. Student okay. Life Director. And uh, one last time, when's this lecture again? April 11th, Wednesday night, 7 o'clock in the Student Life Center. Free. Bring anybody. Bring everybody. Come right. see it. All right. Thank you again for coming on the show. You're welcome, Kevin. Um, that's all the time we have today for this episode of Brook uh, Brookdale Newsmakers. Um, for more information, visit us at brookdalecc.edu. I'm your host, Kevin S. Vanek, and we'll see you next time.